The West Virginia Mountaineers are coming off a tough, tough road loss against Kansas State the other night in overtime. Coming back from almost 25 down, though, but I'm here to talk about it with my good friend here, one half of the Raspy Voice Kids, Jeremy Phoenix. Jeremy, thank you so much for being in the building with me. Andrew in the building. I love it. I love it, man. Look, and by the way, we came back from 25, but almost doesn't count. <laughs> they had their chances, and you know, oh, free throw man. line was a little bit tough for them that night, but I want to talk a little bit about that game and going forward, Texas Tech on Saturday and maybe what they need to do to potentially get right and get hot for the Big 12 Conference Tournament. That's about all, all the only thing we have. <laughs> Like, if we're going to make it to, I don't think we're making it to any postseason basketball tournament. Mm -hmm. If we have any shot, it's it's in the, you know, winning the Big 12 tournament um, and, and getting to the NCAA. I don't think it's going to happen. We're 9-19. Um, I know the big deal was early in the season, I put out this post, does the basketball team or the football team win more games this year? And I thought it was a joke, kind of. Yeah. And now they're both locked at nine. <laughs> Who knows? Who knows what's going to happen for these next three games? What I do know is that we're going to have to beat TC, TCU at home. I, I don't think it's the next game, but it's, it's the game after Texas Tech. Yes. If we're going to win, we got to win that game. I don't think we're beating Texas Tech. Um, it's been a rough year, all in all, but, you know, it kind of comes with the territory. We saw it coming with the Huggins things and the turnover and the kids moving out and the kids moving in and the NCAA, man. You, you just got to hope what you can. And uh, yeah, 919, it, it speaks for itself. That Absolutely. For itself. And I think this team, though, as they have gotten healthier and they've gotten people now actually playing, is in Raekwon Battle, Noah Farrakhan, amongst others. I think that they've shown some heart and some guts, at least, for a team that has struggled in the best conference easily in college basketball by far. But they've shown some grit. They've shown some guts. No, and I mean, you I, never know. Maybe maybe they do something special in a couple weeks at the Big 12 championship. I, I think the truest statement is West Virginia can beat anybody on any given night. And mm -hmm. we can lose to anybody on any given night. And, and that's how we are. Not 19. <laughs> I think Bill Parcell said it best. Your record is what it says you are. You know what I mean? Fair enough. You are what your record says you are. Right. Not 19. But let's hope some miracle we can come out and play a great tournament and win the whole thing to get into the tournament and go dancing if not we'll watch these other cats in march absolutely so sticking on the basketball court here with the men's team i do want to ask interim coach josh eilert obviously was put in a very tough position this year absolutely with, you know coming in with like you said the hug and stuff going on and then people not being able to play that were supposed to play. Injuries impacted this team as 100%. well. What do you think is his future as a Mountaineer? Do you think he's still the head coach of the future? Do I don't think so. I don't think so. I, I mean, like, by the way, we we interviewed Josh Eilert on our show. Great guy. Mm -hmm. Really great guy. Unfortunately, he was put in one of the worst predicaments that you could be put in um, with the head coach going going down and then these guys transferring out mm -hmm. these guys transferring in and the NCAA saying certain players couldn't play and then injuries like he's he, like I've never seen a coach that has had more turmoil to start his head coaching career mm -hmm. as Josh Eller has but that being said it is what it is and when you're 9 and 19 your record says you are what what you are right I don't think he gets another chance. I think he's a great um, person, and I hope somehow he maintains with the program in some capacity. Mm -hmm. But there's other people being mentioned. You hear Dusty May, FAU. You hear Ben McCullum, who's won a few national championships in the D2 realm. Um, there's a lot of people that you're hearing right now. I understand there's other vacancies, college basketball vacancies, Ohio State, other, where you're hearing some of the same names. But what I will say is when Ren Baker chose a women's basketball coach that we just had, leave. Do you see what our women's basketball team is doing now? Oh, I do. About four or five losses on the entire year, mm -hmm. playing better than they've ever played. That makes me put faith in Ren Baker. So when I say that I've heard that he's more of a basketball kind of guy, mm -hmm. I believe it because he just hired a women's basketball coach who's doing tremendous things. So I would hope that he also has that meticulousness and that eye for picking the right person that when he chooses a basketball coach for this team coming up this year when he has more time, I, got, I, I have faith in Ren Baker. I have absolute faith in Ren Baker to pick, make the right choice. 
Absolutely. And so now that you've mentioned the women's basketball team, I want to transition to them because they have been one of the best stories in the Big 12 this year, if not the best story. No one, like you said, thought this was coming, could have predicted this. And they've been a top 25 mainstay now for weeks. Yes, they have lost three in a row here, but they've lost really close games. They lost to Kansas State on the road in overtime, who is a top 10 team. They lost to Baylor recently as well, who's another top 25 team. And I believe they sprinkled in a loss in there somewhere against a non-ranked opponent. But, you know, you lose some of those games here and there. But Talk about them. I mean, they've been awesome this year. They're playing ball, man. They're playing absolute ball. Uh, our, our, our coach, Kellogg, has them playing ball. Uh, we're playing basketball. <laughs> Great and, song. And that's what they're doing, man. Um, obviously, if you watch West Virginia basketball, they're playing defense. They're playing incredible defense. I think there's two times this year they've held Big 12 t- uh, opponents scoreless in the first quarter. That's unheard of. That's incredible. Their offense isn't a juggernaut. Their defense is good. Are they the best team in the country? No. Are there something we can be proud of? Absolutely. First year coach, uh, the team's doing their thing, man. Caps off, you know, all right. Let's just keep it going, man. We, we love anything that, that has the flying WV, the gold and the blue, and they are absolutely representing us well. Absolutely. So now I want to transition to something I know that you're super passionate about. EA Sports has dropped recent videos that they will be releasing another NCAA football game here. And I know I've seen you on Twitter. I've seen you on social media. You are very (laughs) hype. You used to play a lot. We talked about this before we got together here. I used to play as well. So talk about it from a West Virginia perspective. Man, how can you not be excited? This is this is incredible. In 14, when when they went away because the NIL, Mm -hmm. my heart was broken. I've never seen a game at the height of its power and then all of a sudden just go away. And I thought, of course, the one game I like is the one game that goes away. It's not funny. I don't know why you're laughing. It's not funny. Hurt my heart. And it took, it took my prime years, my prime years to play the video game. <laughs> but here we are 10 years later, the game is coming back out. And people want to talk about this and want to talk about that. Hey, look, the game is coming back out. I don't care about the gameplay. As long as you have West Virginia University in it and you have a dynasty mode slash online dynasty mode, I'm all in. There is nothing like recruiting freshmen to come to your school and other kids leaving and you <laughs> being, you know, the ultimate uh, GM of the entire program. The transfer portal is going to be crazy in that game. I cannot <laughs> wait. I cannot wait. And I, I honestly, be for real, I'm a little scared because I, I just hope it comes back. Mm-hmm. I hope, like, you know, because I was a beast. Look, look, I was a problem. I was a goon to a goblin. I'm just, I'm just <laughs> saying. Um, and I hope it just comes back. We'll see. But this game is going to be amazing. And, like, I've heard girls say, are you guys serious? Are you guys really that hyped over a video game? Yes. The answer is yes. <laughs> Yes, we're all like I don't I don't think you understand how big this is. Not you, but you know the oh, females I mean, I mean, who try to. I mean, hate. hey, I'm excited for it too, and I will definitely be purchasing my own copy and taking once vacation it comes for it. <laughs> They're like, are you really taking vacation? Yes, yes, I'm taking vacation. The for answer this is game. yes. The answer is yes. Now, <laughs> before I let you go, Jeremy, I know that you have a special interview coming up on your podcast. Yeah. Can you tell the Mid Ohio Valley what they got to pay attention for? It's it's going to be a great interview. We have Bobby Huggins on the show um, and when you hear this, we're asking all the real questions. We're asking everything you wanna know. We're gonna keep it, keep it real with him and Bob Huggins for, for, from the guy that I know is going to keep it real back. We're gonna ask the questions um, that we all wanna know. So make sure you stay tuned to the Raspy Voice Kids because that is coming out and, and when, like I said, we're gonna keep it 100 when we ask him a question about the ball team, about him coming back to West Virginia, about his uh, involvement in them picking the last coach. It's all going down. So find us wherever you, you uh, listen to podcasts, whether it be Apple uh, Podcasts, whether it be Spotify, mm-hmm. we're everywhere. Listen to it because we're going to get up with our with, with, with coach. That That's his name. That's coach. I mean, <laughs> Coach Huggins. Who, who else? 
Well, Mid Ohio Valley, you heard it from Jeremy, the man himself, one half of the Raspy Voice Kids podcast. Make sure to watch out for that podcast. Guarantee you, you're going to find out a lot that you wouldn't find out from your regular real media talk, outlets, from talk. ESPN, whoever you look for, for a lot of your sports, you're going to find some real stuff in that podcast. But Jeremy, thank you so much for sitting down with me today. Appreciate you, Andrew. Of course, always a pleasure. When we return Mid Ohio Valley, Kirk Greenfield will have one last look at your forecast. Stay with us.